from February the 1st, every time you purchase a beverage in a plastic bottle or an aluminium can, you'll be charged a small deposit, 15 cent or 25 cent, depending on the size of the container. And when you bring that container back to a participating supermarket or shop, you'll get your deposit back by means of a voucher, which you can use against your next shop in that store, or you can redeem it for cash. There's a, a, an EU directive, the Single Use Plastics Directive, that has set targets for all the countries in Europe in terms of recycling rates. So we have to achieve 77% recycling on these products by 2025 and 90% by 2029. So it's been proven globally that the only way to do that is through a separate collection deposit return scheme. We expect we'll have about 2,000 what we call reverse vending machines um, in the supermarkets and stores by February the 1st. So there should be great coverage across Ireland come February the 1st. This is in pioneering stuff. There's over 40 countries already have deposit return schemes in place, including 13 in Europe, Denmark, Norway, Germany, Finland. They're all operating at over 90% recycling. What customers need to do is return their empty and undamaged plastic or aluminum cans to store, stick them in the machine here, and they'll receive a money back voucher um, that they can use in their local store. We actually launched the first trial in Ireland in September 2021. So we've been running trial machines for over two years. Since the trial launched, we've collected two million bottles and we've paid back over 200,000 euro in money back vouchers to customers as well. It's a fundamental shift in consumer behaviour, much like the plastic um, levy a couple of years ago. The reality is we do a pretty good job through our mixed dry recycling in Ireland at the moment and we probably recycle about 60% of these products. If you think though there's about 2 billion um, containers go on the market every year, so from moving to 60% to 90% recycling that's an extra 600 million bottles or cans that are going to be recycled. The recycling that happens at the moment does go off the island. The benefits of having a, a separate collection deposit return scheme is you're going to have all the plastic now in one place, which, which will make it economically viable to have a recycling centre on the island. So that's not something that happens now. You probably need about 15,000 tonnes of plastic in one place to, to make that justifiable. We'll have over 25,000 tonnes now all collected in the same place. So we'll be able to put that recycling on the island and take away all those concerns that people have about the, the transport legs, I guess, of the recycling that happens currently. We absolutely recognise that this is a, a major change and a major social behavioural change. We're really launching a major um, advertising campaign from January. We have been doing some ads up to now, but we're really going to push that from January to get the general awareness out there. We've got to be so clear to say that there's no price increase here. You will get your deposit back. The only people who will see a price increase, if you like, are people who don't return their, their containers.